Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. It's Lightroom uh, Wednesday. Mm, sorry, I just, you know, I liked it there yesterday. You know, it escalated quickly. I mean, boy, it really got out of hand fast. So today we're going to talk about something that I think is pretty important because of the fact that people have a reaction to how Lightroom processes files initially. So this is a way of getting around that. So normally when you bring a file in, it's really flat looking. It does not look great at all. I've got to be honest, right? And the problem with most people's perceptions of other raw developers is that when they use another raw developer, it looks nice straight away. So the idea with this is it just helps you make choices that get your file looking nice straight away every time. So let's dive in and do it. So it's a pretty simple task. Here we have a file that's really, really flat. And here's like a process version of that file, the next image along. Now, I'm not going to make this one and this one look similar, OK, because it's too much. And this look here wouldn't look for a portrait, for example. So you want to be choosy about what you're applying to this. So let me just show you how to do it really, really quickly. The key thing here is that you have profiles which set the basic look. OK, and we've talked about profiles before, but here we're going to have a quick look at, say, a classic Chrome look or a vivid. Now, you'll probably have picture styles or modes or things like that. So I could choose for to have this much more punchier, contrasty look as my default look that looks way, way better coming straight in. It's very simple to do. So you just hold down the Alt or Option key, and then your Reset button here turns into Set Default. You click that, and it brings up this dialog box that says change the default settings used by Lightroom and Camera Raw for negative files with the following properties, model Fujifilm X-T2. So it's just for this camera. Please note that these changes are not undoable. Oh my God, is that terrible English or what? It is so bad. Double negatives, shouldn't be using double negatives, right? It's just telling you that you can't undo, you know, you can't hit undo and have it undone. That's all it is, but you can restore them at any point you know, or you can change it to other settings. So by clicking update to current settings, every image that's brought in now will have this applied. But let's say that I actually don't want that, you know, let's say I've decided that's not what I want. So I go alter option, set default, and then I go restore Adobe default settings. So this will come back and give you uh, the Adobe standard as the start. Now, because you want these punchier colors and all this kind of stuff, you may decide that you want more than that. Now for me, I would probably bring it in as a flat file which is Adobe standard, or not Adobe standard, but a Pro Neg standard, which is just a, a little bit flatter, but it's much nicer on skin tones. So I would probably bring that one in if using this. So Pro Neg standard update. So now all of my files will have that on it, and I'm happy to have all of that on it. Now you may decide that you want other stuff. So let's say you want something that's already in there in your basic settings. Let's say that you always pull the highlights and always open up the shadows a little bit. And because you've done that with the shadows, you tend to pull the blacks down. And you always want a little bit of vibrance out of it as well. So let's say you like that particular look there. I'm going to add some saturation as well. So this is only a very, very quick process. I might even open up shadows a little bit more. But you can decide to have this as your default so that every file that comes in, you go Option, Set Default, right? Update to Current Settings. Now every file that comes in will have this look. So let me just go and do a comparison here. And so if I hit the backslash key, we can do a before and after. So we can see that is what the default look is. And that is what your new look is coming in. So you can have this set for every file coming in as you want it. Now, I obviously don't want this on my one like this. So I'm just going to restore these for now. So folks, that is how you set up Lightroom so that it brings in the same looking file every time a better looking file. All right. Now, you can do this with import presets, but if you use, or with presets during import, but if you use import presets, which are separate, and they contain a, an import, a preset that you use on import that you apply during import, that's where you put it in the box, then you can wipe over whatever's there before and it'll make a mess. So you're just better off using this one if you just want to have a default setting for every file in Lightroom. Folks, hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of new videos coming online. Share this on your social media with your friends if you liked it, please. Uh, I'd like to get the word around, you know, all this content for free, folks. Please do share it. Uh, thanks for taking time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.